Ag AM in Kansas brought to you in part by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. We're back. Let's join Dwayne and Matt as they discuss the digestibility of different forages. Dwayne Taves joining you with Ag AM in Kansas. While at the Kansas Foraging Grassland Council annual meeting and uh, trade show in uh, Manhattan, Kansas recently, we had a chance to catch up with Matt Hogan with SDK Laboratories out of Hutchinson. And Matt, uh, we think about uh, the, the business of feeding livestock, having a baseline understanding of what it is uh, nutritionally that we're putting out in front of them is pretty important and, and really the core of your business. That's correct. Uh, we get a lot of questions, and, and people just want to know what do these numbers mean, and uh, we're more than happy to, to address those concerns and, and help put things in, into language that they can understand. Also, uh, from uh, the top end producer, particularly thinking of alfalfa, a lot of times if they're looking at that dairy market, uh, you've got the forage producers uh, who are utilizing your business as well. Uh, correct. Uh, we're looking at uh, the producers as well as the end users. Uh, we play a role where we're making sure that everybody is, is they're, they're getting what they're paying for and paying what they're paying for what they're getting. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of the changes over the years. I know when I was a kid, uh, it was kind of a crude protein world, and that was about all we worried about. Uh, uh, we've evolved from that point uh, in the testing business. Oh, absolutely. In fact, uh, I've been with the lab 16 years now, and uh, I've seen a big change just uh, from the RFV world now to the RFQ world, say in the last 10 years even. Uh, now we're looking at the digestibility of different forages, and with the improved digestibility, we're seeing the improved performances, whether it's a beef cow or, or a dairy cow. Uh, so it's, it's changed quite a bit. So you'll have to back up just a step. I'll have you explain RFV and RFQ and, and what that really means uh, to those people. Oh, sure. Uh, relative feed values is really exclusively uh, geared towards alfalfa, and it was just an arbitrary benchmark set up by hay brokers so that they could price and sell their alfalfa hay exclusively. Um, people, the problem is they, they take that RFV number and apply it to everything other than alfalfa, and, and it's caused a lot of confusion. The RFQ, or, or the relative feed quality, takes into uh, several variables that the RFV score did not, and because of that, uh, we can apply that across the board to different types of feeds, and uh, basically the difference boils down to the digestibility of the neutral detergent fiber. The more digestible the fiber, the more uh, Basically, the more feed it can, uh, the, the animal can eat, uh, and which in turn, turn means um, higher milk production or more weight gain. We think about uh, the opportunities, uh, the, the chemical analysis and all those different things. Some of those tests have changed through the years, and, but it gets back to if a quality sample doesn't show up at your shop, it's hard to get valid numbers for a, a very significant pile of hay, if you will. How do you get a good representative sample of something that you have tons of, and I'm only going to use maybe a half a gram? So it's absolutely imperative that we get a good quality sample. Um, and then the lab, in turn, uses good good practices to make sure that we're not biasing the sample in any way and affecting affecting the results. Well, our thanks to Matt Hogan with SDK Laboratories out of Hutchison, Kansas, joining us at the Kansas Forage and Grassland Council annual meeting and winter conference in Manhattan. Jamie, back to you. Thanks, Dwayne. Next up is this week's Kansas soybean update. Don't go away. Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture, represents grassroots agriculture. The state's largest and most powerful farm organization stands up for its members through leadership development, agriculture education, legal defense, environmental advocacy, farm safety, and risk management. Members also enjoy money-saving benefits. To join our organization today or to learn more, go to www.kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter.